and uh, my butt's out. I did not put on pants, but that's okay. G'day and hello beautiful people, it is Milmo here. Hope you're having a fantastic day, afternoon, evening, night, no matter time, wherever you are. Hope life is treating you well. Right now we're going to start a new segment to the channel. So kicking it off and it is Walker Wednesday. Now the reasoning for this is I play a lot of games that have walkers aka zombies in other franchises and I do play more Walking Dead games and I also get a lot of questions asking me where I am with this game so I thought it would be a good week little segment to have updates on certain games I will be doing other the regular videos and so forth now just a quick update when it comes to this game uh, a month or two or whatever it was ago I lose track of time I guess I was forced to transfer to a new region in Claiborne. My old region was one of the original, you know, first week regions when this game first came out that was forced to transfer, yeah, I guess that's the way to word it. Essentially, we were choked out of our region. Like, if you wanted to t participate or get any live events, we'll go to the good old roadmap here. If you wanted to get any of these live events, you actually had to transfer regions to get them uh, so I would have stayed in my old region because I don't care about PvP if I'm honest everyone's running the same teams now yes that comes down to limited leader skills in the mythic range and also just the way in which you would obtain the mythics uh, it sort of limits everyone to the same characters because you've got those free to play characters and so forth and you know everyone wants to use the good ones so it's always the same ones popping up plus war I was in a dead region, wasn't a thing. So I've just sort of grown out of PvP because of my scenario. Plus it really doesn't interest me anymore. I have found a new game that I find the PvP factor is a lot more interesting and fulfilling for me. Uh, it is in the Walking Dead franchise. It will probably be the next game in this video. But the only way I was getting all this stuff was if I transferred regions. So like I said, I was basically choked out. I had to transfer if I wanted to continue this game. Now, a part of me did think maybe I should just quit and I would have been completely happy with that. I'm not going to lie, uh, but I didn't in the end. I decided to transfer over and continue being that PvE filthy pleb that I am now. Uh, what's happening at the game at the moment? Update video, not too much. At the moment with my town, I'm trying to upgrade all my timber production uh, just because I don't make a lot of materials. A lot of two of these material posts were converted into the Savinger, so I converted them back to get more. I have a lot. I fully maxed out my farm, so I have a lot more food. Um, food. That's what happens when you combine food and wood. Um, I had a lot more food production than I do wood, so at the moment I'm trying to get the wood production up. Um, my city hall or town hall, I read there, uh, is level 30, so doing okay my lieutenants at the moment level wise they're doing okay I've got to get those up as well um, at the moment with the road map all I've been doing is pretty much bloody snowballs I did the first act of that I need to do that um, I will do that as well. I just don't. I pretty. That's where I'm at with my conquest. I only recently started doing this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I've been like missing from this whole whole scene of this conquest for a long time. So I've recently started doing those. The daily limit is sort of annoying, but whatever. Uh, so that's where I'm at with that. Character-wise, I'm not doing too much with. Um, if I do, uh, and weapons-wise, I will put that in and sort of update. Uh, raiding, I don't raid anymore, it's so boring. That brings me to my point, if, if I can't actually fast forward through something, I do not want to put the time into this game where I have to sit there and manually, you know, choose and make my skills, and that's why I don't do raiding anymore. Oh, it was so boring doing the same thing over and over again with the same teams, but that's why I am with this game at the moment. Um... I do the roadmaps later because all I'm going to do is fast forward and it's not going to be boring. But if you give me a second, we will transfer over to the next game.
Mm-hmm. New game. Surprise, surprise. Uh, so this is the game. I don't like how it does this. It actually does that. Like, I don't like how it's that f half of your screen. It does it on your phone as well. It's just full on vertical. Is that what you'd say? It's vertical. Like, it doesn't go horizontally, which is sort of annoying. So this is the game I'm playing at the moment that... <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I probably am lucky to pay like half an hour of uh, Road to Survival. This game I am playing like hours and hours of worth. I am loving it. Um, I'm about, I think I'm a week in. Let me look at... I think I'm about a week in. Let me just... I'll just gradually, you know, I'm just in robot mode when it comes to screen collecting the law, uh, rewards and so forth. I think... Yeah, so 27 days. I'm not quite a month in, sorry. A week in. I meant a month in. I'm not quite a month in. Um, but I'm loving it. Like, I reckon this is what... This game could have been a similar format to what... Like, this game, to me, is what Road to Survival would have been if it was released now, rather than six years ago. Um, just the actual setup of it like you have your town with your clan uh, you have walkers you can what kill to get resources I guess that's how you would put it you have your march your army there which you can march on kill them get rewards as well you can rally with your faction to do that as well um, I will make a video that sort of explains all this a bit more but I, this is the game I'm playing at the moment. It's definitely this game. Like, this will be the new game to the channel that you'll probably see more content from rather than the other one. So, uh, you can raid other people's little towns. Like, this is what... I f this visual representation on this game is what I feel like uh, Road to Survival could have been. Um, I'll just send my explorers off for now. Uh, sorry, I'm just doing daily things. Now, where am I at the moment with this game? Uh, at the moment... Formation wise, I have my three formations. Uh, this is my top one. So these guys I need to obviously get the star for so I can get them up to a max of 50. This guy, I'm leaving Rick so low at the moment. I have enough resources to up him, but I'm leaving him low at the moment. So my settlement siege, which if we go down here, I can still do that because you'll see I've got a max level of 38. And at the moment I'm waiting for town hall level 13, which would be my next level before I sort of get through this settlement siege. Uh, at the moment, this team is just a bit too fidgety and won't get through it. They do fairly well, but they won't. So that's why these guys are stuck here. They have their stars so I can go up to highest level 50, but I'm just leaving them there so I can use them for this. Uh, same with this girl here, um, Gloria, I think it is from memory. Maggie, I'm stuck with because I can't I need more metals, so legendary metals to actually get her up, so I'm stuck for the moment. Uh, so at the moment, in my town, I'm just leveling up to ev everything into level 12 until I get my town hall up. I've already leveled my war, so technically I could level my town hall right now, but I just find that very impractical. Like, if you want the most, I guess, efficient and significant score, with your technologies and so forth, it's better to just level all your max buildings up to whatever your town hall is allowing. Is that what they call it in this game? Yep, okay, so they call it town hall as well. So obviously my town hall is 12, so I'm going to max everything out to 12 before I take it to 13. Um, I always do my war first, so my war I take up to 12, so that allows your town hall to go to 13. I do that first just for the sake of it because it takes a while. Uh, fighters wise I'm up to what that's the fourth one so I just keep training those guys uh, just because I've got the three teams I'm going research at the moment with the technologies I think I'm maxing this out see and I've got a lot more going on with this game being newer that I'm just doing a lot more so at the moment I'm sort of I can't uh, go any further here because I need to do level 14 library. So doing that, uh, my development, I've done all maxed out. Um, basic combat, I've done most of them. I think, yeah, it's just these ones and I will do those as well. At the moment, I'm trying to get my first march or 
formation pretty strong. My third one, I'm not really worrying about that. That's just a food for fonda sort of formation. So, but I do at least have the three formations. I'll get the fourth one. What's the fourth one? It's, um, I thought it was like. Uh, this is annoying. Yeah, I went to the wrong one to start with. I don't know, I think it's like level 18 or something, you get your fourth one from memory, looking at it. I can't remember where I went in to actually see that. Yeah, so that's what I'm pretty much doing with this game at the moment. Um, PvP aspect, I do like uh, raiding people. I'm just not so much doing it at the moment while I'm trying to build. Uh, though being in the clan that I'm in... Is that what they call it? Um, I always get confused because I start calling things... Yeah, clan. Okay. I was like, <laughs> it's not a faction here. I think it's a clan. It's a clan. Uh, I got my two of my food little farms there going up. Now I'll do these guys next. So that's basically what I'm doing here. Now when I explore, I'm updating my little map. So this is where my clan is up here. Originally my clan, my first clan was down here and then the faction sort of died out and then I moved to a better one up here. So I'm just discovering the maps in which you'll find more clan bases, communities, so forth. More people to fight essentially. But that's where I am with this game. This is the game I'm actually playing the most and I've probably rambled on about just doing all the little things I'm doing. Um, but I will bring out more tutorial sort of videos and explain this game a bit more. I am, I'm not like horrible as in like my standing on my formations aren't bad, but they're not great either. you got to remember I'm 27 days in, so I, I think I'm doing all right for where I'm at. Uh, now moving on to the next game. Uh, this is all on blue stacks, of course, that I'm using this. I do play other games, um, but for this video, I just wanted to start off with the first um, three. Well, the first sort of three that I've been playing. I do play like Dead Age and all those sorts of games as well for, on my actual computer. I try and be quick with this game, but this game I've got more to talk about as well. <laughs> like, Road to Survival, I have next to nothing to talk about when it comes to what I'm doing. <laughs> when it comes to um, Walking Dead Survivors and Days After, I'm doing so much more. So, this is Days After. Um, it's like a survival. Now, I do play other survivals that are not, you know, on an emulator. They're PC-based um, as well, which I'll probably talk about those. At the moment with this one, I want to get to level 30, I believe. I'm close. Need to do a bit more farming. Yeah, so I can get this large backpack. Because the backpack space at the moment is sort of ridiculous. And so when you go out foraging scavenge whatever you want to call it uh sometimes i have to make multiple trips and it's just sort of annoying we'll have a few spins here and see what we get some rocks i'm not going to do too much with this because i will make more sort of explaining it i do need to put some food this is my house may look a bit weird a bit big but it fits all the crates i want in it so and i don't have to like walk through multiple doors trying to get to different things. I forget what I was putting away. And I have most things sorted out now. I think I'm half naked at the moment, or well, at least I'm wearing a shirt. That makes it good. Medical supplies. I have everything as sorted as best as I can. And that there. Now I think this video is going to be much longer than I intended, but then I start talking about things that I this is what happens when I start talking about games. <laughs> uh, there's that. We'll put our rocks down here. What I do need to do is... Oh, my stone, not rock. So this one is the bigger crate. Uh, the visual representation is better over here. This is the bigger crate, more slots. So I do need to start replacing these little boxes with the bigger ones. 
Um, we'll get some grass. Sweet. Eventually, I will have all big crates for everything. Um, I'll probably change the design. At the moment, I've got big open floor design. Like I've got everything in here. All my little benches, workbenches, I guess. Yep, that's what you'd call it, a workbench. I've got all the workbenches in here. I just have them split up in sections. You know, you've got your fabric, so clothes maker, I guess you could say. You've got your stonery. And then you've got your timber sort of production, wood production. And then I've got my, what is signal station or what the hell do you call this? I don't know, broadcast station I think is what they call it. And I've literally got two bonfires in here so it is literally open planned. But this game is you go out foraging. Um... There we go. So what you have is various locations here. As you can see that's your airport drop thing. Um, and you have various difficult levelties and what you do is you go to these locations and you farm. I did not bring any meds or food so hopefully that should be fine. It's only one star difficulty. Um, Please tell me, okay, I was like, please tell me I have the tools I need. Yeah, so, okay. So usually I put my axe in this slot, so I'm saving room in my pockets or my backpack. That's your pockets, your backpack, you got one extra, it's pretty cruddy. And then I put my sledgehammer in there, which is more for rocks. Uh, I find sometimes, sorry, I get annoyed when my freaking mouse, I was about to say crosshair, but my mouse is on the screen. Uh, and then you have, as you can see, you get attacked by animals and also your walkers. Uh, and you'll get some things off this. I will have a full like explanation video of this sort of game, but... And then you use these materials to obviously make craft things, as you saw from my... I really don't need grass, but I'll do it. It has this cool feature where you can auto farm like this, but I've got a thing coming after me. Um, so you infectious spray it at the top there is when you get hit by the zombies. If that goes to 100%, it lowers your HP. Uh, that's a trading token. And the more and more you get it, the more infectious you are, the more your HP is lowered so you won't get a max of 100 you might go to 80 and then 60 and 40 which is not ideal this is pretty much what you do is you just craft it's i guess it's your typical survival box survival uh you do get slightly more hit damage if you sneak up on them i didn't on the second one though And uh, my butt's out. I did not put on pants, but that's okay. I've got a beanie on already. And that's pretty much what you do. You just go through and do all that. Um, and then you got your crafting, sort of. I probably can't do it while I'm doing this. You got your crafting, which, depending on what you open or what level you are, it depends on what you've got available to you. Uh, currently 30, I think. The max is 80 or something from memory. Well, it's 76, close enough. And you just keep going through that. Um, but that's a rough sort of idea. Like I said, I will maybe should craft myself some pants when I get back. I already went through that. Um, I will make videos sort of explaining the two newer games and other games I might be playing. But um, anyways... But I think this might conclude the first sort of episode of... That's useless. I don't need a dog. I've already got one that comes with me. Put that. This is what's annoying about having a crappy backpack is 
trying to work out what you want and what you don't want depending on what you're sort of out with it. But anyways, I hope you did enjoy this first episode. As always, I thank you for watching. Always remember how awesome you are. Bye! Tis a light when the world is getting darker I have a dream where love's the only side So take my hand, join the army of the shadows